Welcome to T-Sport Bearman. Today's video we are going to modify the intercooler and the position of the rad. So the sort of coolers that we use are sort of OEM uh, produced coolers by Nissans. So these are off like a F2000. Then we have uh, two oil coolers as well, which is off uh, like an MAM part. Uh, we use two oil coolers for steering cooler and also diesel cooler. And that's what these sort of funnels are for. Uh, the intercooler, we had it as a spare for last year, so we've modified the, the sort of boost clamps on it. It's actually mounted upside down, if you have a look, so we have to, um, you can see now that the, like I say, it's mounted upside down, so we've got to obviously change the, the logo the other way up. Uh, we'll lift that out in a second now, we'll weld all the the sort of clamps up on it, uh, all the, uh, the mounting brackets on it. Um, these coolers are obviously produced by Nissans as a like an aftermarket part, but they also supply them uh, directly to the manufacturers. We have no fear whatsoever with these coolers. Um, basically, we can see directly on the telemetry that the Nissan coolers has a performance advantage over other manufacturers. So. Just the intercooler, it was uh, around eight degrees cooler than, than a, a, another make. So from that side, it's, it's perfect. The, the water coolers are actually a consumable part. So I say consumable, if, if we're in a crash, they're sort of, they're not in harm's way, but they're generally the first thing to, uh, if it's a big crash, to take all the, the brunt of the damage. So we do carry uh, one uh, spare water cooler in the trailer. We also have one at Garage Lou now, so we're, we're pretty safe on the road. So, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get that pulled out now, get it all welded up, and yeah, we can show you a bit more in depth what it's about. <laughs> Mounting points that this comes on originally, it's, mount, it's designed to be perfectly square and mounted off the front sort of chassis type thing. So we put plates on, we rubber bob in them. Then the boost clamps are like a special boost clamp that we get from the States, and these are sort of designed for a little bit of flex, obviously, but they have a huge burst pressure so they can take 55 bar before they actually fail. Uh, the engine we're running three and a half bar of boost, so we're, we're sort of we need uh, the standard silicon hose with like a, a, a hose clamp around them. They're not good enough, so we have to run special ones. So and that's how it's quite quite good how we how we found this one. So like I said, the intercooler is a standard sort of the intercooler. We just change these uh, boost clamps and the brackets. The radiator we modify slightly, so the, on a standard one we have obviously uh, water in, water out, but also a bleed uh, pipe so it can self bleed. We actually blank that off because we don't actually need it. And then with the intercooler we have some uh, nozzles, so because we cool the brake discs down with water through the vents, with this same water we actually spray onto the intercooler uh, to cool the charge temperature down even more so uh, I mean on a 30 or 26 degree day uh, we'll try to be around 18 degrees Celsius with the air going into the engine um, and obviously the turbo creates a lot of uh, heat which is the benefits of an intercooler even on a standard 
vehicle, so I'm excited it all works good. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll get this mounted up now. And uh, don't forget to check out our other videos and give it a thumbs up.